This is my first moving vlog. The theme of this video is unmaking over my apartment and things are looking a little crazy in here as you can see all around me. Also, I'm not gonna bother putting on makeup for this video because I'm just gonna sweat it all right off. Moving in the summer is truly a joy, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys what's been going on. I've been working on the unmaking over portion of my apartment, so throughout this video I will insert footage of what I've been doing, like mostly taking down artwork and everything that made this house a home. <laughs> so I've taken down a lot of artwork, I'm going to show you the state of that, I'm going to show you the packing situation, I'm also... Well, this is the current problem I'm dealing with. I have been planning to do this flea market in Philadelphia for the past several weeks. Like all of this stuff that's over here behind me, this is all stuff for the market that I've like priced and like put together and whatever, not the plants, but like that whole shelf is filled with stuff that I wanna get rid of. It's all priced, it's all ready to go. And the market is supposed to be tomorrow, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so. I'm trying to see now if I can get into this indoor flea market to be a vendor there because I really, really, really want to get rid of this stuff. I've done so much prep. I'm ready for it to be gone. But let's just do a little walk through. My apartment is looking very chaotic. It's not quite as bad as it was when I moved in. I will link that video up here, my moving vlog from when I moved into this apartment and it was truly chaotic. Like not even able to walk through it. But let's just walk through and I will give you a little summary of what's been going on lately. So starting out with my desk, this is my filming setup by the way, shitty rigs. Um, but this corner is pretty much all of my artwork because I've started taking it all off the walls. There's random stuff over here on the printer. There's like some trash I need to throw away. And then this wall above my bed used to have a bunch of art. I've taken it all down. Same over here. This wall used to have a bunch of art. Now it's just consumed by this shelf. So this is all the flea market stuff plus random other stuff. Um, like I said, I really want to get all this stuff out of my house. So I hope that it can be gone tomorrow. I put plants in here because they used to be on shelves in other parts of the house and the shelves are now gone. So that's that. I ran out of hangers because all my hangers are being used for the flea market, so I have stuff just like hanging there. This is all like clean laundry I need to put away. This is just like random stuff. I've been like, you know, taking stuff out of the wall. So this is kind of the bedroom situation right now. Definitely messy. This is also more stuff for the flea market, yay. 
And then going into the other room, here are the cats. Hello. What's up, Miss Ma'am? Clove has gotten so huge. I don't think she's been in a video for a while. Hi. But coming into the living room, this is honestly the saddest sight to see. My wall, this used to be a really beautiful gallery wall and it's now all taken down. I still need to take out some of these higher nails and stuff. I've done all the ones that I could reach down here, but I need to get my step ladder and do the rest. This is where my TV used to be. I sold my TV on Facebook Marketplace and when I took the mount out of the wall, I accidentally like ripped some paint out of the wall. So I need to repair this before I move. This space right here used to have shelves and those are now taken down. I am eventually going to take down these tiles. These are peel and stick tiles and then the same thing with this countertop. This is a peel and stick countertop. This is my little like nail repairing station. Um, I also undecorated my fridge. So I took everything off of the fridge, which was the first thing that I did. I need to take this tapestry down off the wall. So I'm gonna do that pretty soon. I also, the plants that are up here are dead. So those are RIP. I need to take down the roses and this mirror. And then I had one plant that was okay in this window, but my cats were destroying it. So I put it in the other room. And then coming over here, I had some art here that I took away. I need to take this down, my degree, my family pictures, this little no smoking sign that's just propped up there so it'll be easy to take down. And then I have these shelves and coat hooks and stuff. These shelves are from the other room, but I need to take all this down. There used to be plants here and I took them away because I'm taking the shelves down. Um, and then there's four shelves here. Those I took down this morning and I started filling the holes a little bit. So that is in progress as well. The rest of the bathroom is pretty boring. There's just like, you know, random products and stuff I need to clean in here. I will be getting rid of my couch when I move. So I'm actually giving it to my neighbor. She really likes it and she has cats. So hopefully she won't mind that it is covered in cat hair. Of course, I'm gonna clean it a little bit before I give it to her, but yeah, like this is the spot where the cats like to sit and like, it's just, I don't know how much you can tell, but it's just like covered in cat hair. So I need to clean that. I'm going to be selling my coffee table, don't mind the cat litter. My books I already went through and I picked out the books that I'm going to get rid of. So now I just need to like box these up. I don't have a box so I have to get a big like sturdy book box for these. Hi guys, it's a couple days later now. I think in the last clip I filmed I was talking about being worried that my flea market was going to be cancelled because of rain. So I ended up being able to book a spot at a different flea market and then it also didn't rain. So either way it would have worked out but I did the flea market. It went pretty well. I didn't sell as much as I had hoped to so now I'm trying to kind of organize everything and figure out if I just want to give stuff away or continue trying to sell things. So so right now I'm about to head over to Buffalo Exchange and bring them some clothes that didn't sell at the flea market. There's some nice stuff in there so I'm hoping that they'll take at least some of it. I know Buffalo Exchange and Plato's Closet and places like that are kind of famous for like giving you 39 cents <laughs> for your clothes. So I hope that they'll at least take some stuff even if they don't pay a lot for it at least it'll be out of my house. So that's where I'm headed right now. I will update you later with what they take. Hi guys, it's a couple days later again. I think the last time I saw you, I was taking clothes to Buffalo Exchange. So they ended up only taking four items, but they gave me like $40 in store credit. So that's pretty good. I would say that's like better than usual for places like Buffalo Exchange. I still have a lot of stuff that I would love to get rid of via Buffalo Exchange. So honestly, I'll probably just keep it in the bag that it's in and then bring it back in like a couple weeks because the seasons change and they have different like inventory levels of stuff that they need. They also told me that you can call ahead and ask them like what are you guys most looking for right now and they'll tell you so you can try to bring in like more dresses or more jeans or like whatever they want. So I may try that. 
But today I want to kind of show you guys the progress that I've made and finish some of these like unmaking over activities. So I have a couple of like bigger ish projects that I wanted to get done before my move starts. I have a six week overlap so I have some time in between like I don't have to get all these things done necessarily before my move date but I would like to because I think it'll just make it a lot easier. So for the rest of this video I'm just going to show you how the apartment is looking and then we'll finish it out with these projects as many as I can get done today. Okay so starting with this shelf situation I think it looks a lot more organized than what it was. So over here these boxes are like packed boxes this is mostly home decor i didn't film myself packing it because i thought it was like slowing me down from the process of just getting it done over here i have the plants i talked about the plants already this little corner is like stuff that i'm trying to give away also this bag is like a bunch of stuff that i'm going to give away and then these bins are packed and then i have this bigger bin that i'm going to put some like oversized stuff in because it doesn't have a lid and the box below it has more home decor. So I feel like this situation has improved a lot. I've given a lot of stuff away on Buy Nothing. If you're not familiar with Buy Nothing, you need to get on that. It has been such a huge help. But the rest of the room is looking a lot better. All the art is gone, as I think I showed before. My flowers over here are dying, so I'm going to have to deal with that. Um, but out here, I've also gotten rid of some stuff. Here's clothes again. So I decided to sell both of these clothing racks. I bought them for my flea market that I did over the weekend and I don't need them anymore. So I'm reselling them basically for the same price that I bought them for. Hopefully people will actually pick them up. They're supposed to be picked up today. So we'll see if these people actually come. The bookcase situation I still have not really dealt with. I need to fill all these holes. So yeah, let's go through the projects that I want to get done. I want to fill these holes in the wall all around from where I had artwork hanging. I am going to take down the peel and stick tiles. I'm going to take down the peel and stick countertop. Don't mind my little grocery overflow over there. Um, also, I need to take this tapestry down. I need to take these things down off the wall. I need to take these shelves down as well. So I think those are gonna be my main objectives for the rest of this video. Um, so let's get started. <laughs>
everyone. Thank you guys for coming along with me in this video. Obviously there is still more that I haven't finished yet and more things that I want to work on and things that I need to work on before I move out of this apartment. But that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Honestly, it's making me feel a little emotional to like look around at the house now with these big empty walls and like the kitchen being back to how it was. I'm just not used to it at all. It does make me feel a little sad, like I put so much time and love into making this apartment what it was and now it's all coming apart so quickly, but I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. Make sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss my other moving vlogs and my new apartment tour and all of those fun things. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.